Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new Is This Player Worth It slash player review video. As you all know, I pretty much upload these every single day or whenever EA does release a SBC that does come out. But pretty much, boys, I'm just going to start off by thanking you for all the amazing support. We've gained like 100 and something subscribers in the past two days, maybe three days, not even that. But like the support is incredible. We're getting so much amazing feedback on my videos, so many nice comments, so much everything. But yeah, I really appreciate all support. It doesn't go unnoticed. I genuinely, thank you so much. But yeah, I'm going to check if they have released a icon. No, they've not. So they've just released Han, um, what's it called? Sorry, Hamshik today. Looks like an absolutely incredible card. I'm not going to lie. I've not took a look at the requirements yet. We are going to get into that very shortly. But this is going to be a player review slash is the player worth it on Marek Hamshik. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be excited for this card. I personally don't run Serie A teams, but a lot of people I do know run Serie A teams and they do enjoy Serie A teams. I feel like this guy will be an amazing centre mid, if not centre mid, centre attacking mid potentially. The three star skills is a slight problem for me anyway, maybe not for you. But three star skills isn't perfect, keep that in mind, it isn't the greatest thing in the world. But I'm sure you can get around it as it isn't everything on FIFA 19. But that five star weak foot is amazing, genuinely that... If you were to play him at Cam, that 5-star weak foot is very, very important. In my opinion, he's quite slow for centre attack in mid. I like to have an 85 to 90 pace player, but that obviously comes down to your preference. If you prefer to have a player that has 80 pace or you don't really mind, then definitely play this guy at Cam. He will be perfect for that. But pretty much, he's 6 foot, high medium. So high medium's great. He can play at Cam. He can also play striker if you even wanted to, but I doubt you're going to play him striker. But he's 6 foot, so he could play striker. But I recommend in a 4 1 2 1 2, brackets 2, you play him centre mid. If not there, then you'll play a 4-2-3-1. You could even play him CDM as he has great physical stats and he also has a um, great defensive stats overall on the on the game and he has six foot height. So very important. He can play CDM. He's definitely capable of playing CDM. But I will play him CDM in a 4-2-3-1 or I'll play him centre mid in a 4-1-2-1-2 brackets too. But if you wanted to play him centre attacking mid, like the middle cam in 4-2-3-1, there isn't a problem with that either. He could easily play there in my opinion as he has great passing stats, great overall finish at, finishing stats. So he's very, very capable of playing in that position. But any Anyway, 77 jumping, 91 physical, no, 91 stamina, sorry, but 91 stamina is amazing. I'm surprised at this because I think his normal card actually does suffer from stamina. I feel like it's not the greatest. Let me know. I will have to check it after, but I'm not too sure. I don't think it's the greatest. But 77 jumping, 91 stamina, 72 strength, not a problem there at all. If the strength was a bit higher, maybe it'll be better, but it isn't too much of a problem. Defending stats, I feel like that, that doesn't matter too much, but maybe it does if you're playing in CDM. But overall, heading accuracy 83, 81 interceptions, 84 marking, 82 stand tackle, very, very good. Very good defensive stats, very good card of overall, sorry. But yeah, 79 agility, as you can see, not the greatest, but for him, in my opinion, that's very good because I would usually expect it to be a little bit lower for Hamshik, I'm not going to lie, like maybe in the 68, 70 mark, around that mark. But EA's done him very well there, but pretty much I'm pretty sure he's moving to China. I'm not too sure if it is China, it might be somewhere else. Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know in the comment section, are you going to complete his SBC? Let me know. But yeah, 92 reactions, 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, 88 composure. Incredible. Genuinely not a word to say bad about that card in that aspect. But yeah, 91 vision, 82 crossing. So he's he's even quite good at crossing. This card genuinely has everything. He's got great vision, great short pass, great long pass, great curve. So he's going to be playing some amazing through balls over the top into your, your strikers, maybe Dybala. Maybe you've got icons so you can link this guy into your squad very easily. And the card design genuinely looks incredible it really does like it looks amazing the flash on it as well honest to god what a card i'm very surprised the a's released this but i'm loving the content they are bringing out at the minute hopefully they can keep it up but he's got 95 attack positioning 89 85 finishing 89 shot power 90 long shots 85 volleys and he's even got 76 penalties penalties isn't a problem of course it's not the greatest part of his card but you know how it is but what a card overall you genuinely can't say a bad word about it but 85 rated squad and then an 86 rated squad you get a 50k pack and a 50k 5k pack in return so 105,000 coins in return from packs if you were to go ahead and just open them the headliners are still in packs so you still 
still got a chance of packing one of them, of course, or even two. You never know if you're very lucky. But pretty much, boys, the first squad here is going to be asking for a Napoli player and two Team of the Week players and an 85-rated squad. So instantly... We are going to be taking a look at how we can complete this for fairly cheap. But of course, you're going to start off with Napoli. You need to get a Napoli player that's quite high rated. I don't think there's many of them. There is actually Insigne, Merton. So there is a few actually. And Koulibaly, who did just get an inform in the team of the week. But taking a look here... This Hamshit card, I think, yeah, that's a headliner card that is out. It's selling for about 100k. So this SBC should cost you, in my opinion, around 150 to 200k. If not, it ain't worth it. But this SBC is worth it, in my opinion, because the card is Hullet level. It's full 80 stats apart from the physical. This card is genuinely amazing. It really does look amazing. But I would start off with, if you have maybe Insigne in your club or you just have a card, that's high rated from Napoli, Koulibaly, Insigne, any of them. I'd recommend you quickly go ahead and pick one up. He is going to rise in price very quickly. So make sure you throw him into the squad because it's very important to get the rating. Because it's an 85 rated squad. So because you have an 88 already, you can start bringing the rating a bit lower down. But the best thing to do is to check footbin for the cheapest price, of course. I'm pretty sure it will cost you around, I would say... I'd say about 250 to 300k around that mark it's going to cost you because you're going to need four team of the week players, you're going to need an 86 rated squad and an 85 rated squad to it. So it is quite expensive, keep that in mind, but that's what you expect for getting a card on such a high level and a card that is going to be very, very weekend league player he's going to be a very weekend league player like he's going to be very good to play in the weekend league for you but overall this SBC you get a rare mega pack it's probably going to cost you about 130 150k and this one because it's 86 rated it's going to cost you a little bit more than that but it is going to be worth it overall in my opinion you're getting a 91 rated card that can play center mid or cam or even come on as a super sub in the weekend league and be a perfect center mid or even cam wherever you do want to play him of course so I highly recommend you to go ahead and complete this SBC in my opinion it's 100% worth it definitely drop a comment down below what do you think on this SBC are you going to go ahead and complete it I'm very interested to hear all of your thoughts definitely let me know but as as of always, boys, we are trying to hit 1.7k subscribers. If you are new to the channel, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, drop a like if you are if you are new around here, like I said. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That's been it on Marek Hamšík. Player review slash is the player worth it? The answer to the question, of course, is yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, boys. Peace out.